How to create logo carousel in Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create your proper logo carousel and slider into your Wix Studio website to showcase the logos, images and etc. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over wix.com then sign in simply into your account. Once you have did that, you're going to see here the first thing that will appear in face of you, the site's dashboard. So you are going to see here a lot of websites that I have created already. Some of them has no tags and some of them has a label or a tag named or written on them built on Wix Studio. So those are the Wix Studio websites. So we are going to choose one of them. We have here one and two. Here. So if you don't have a website on Wix or Studio or Wix Normal Editor, we are going to click on Create New Site right there, and then we are going simply to see the uh, website editor. As you can see, we have uh, the option to try on Wix Studio, which is for today's video very essential, and we have the only uh, simple and standard Wix editor. Go ahead and select uh, the option that will suit you. Here for this video, you are going to use only the Wix Studio, select the template, and then boom, here we have the website. Now we are going to select the website that we have by clicking on select and edit site. And after that, you are going to see here the dashboard. So once you have opened the dashboard, you are going simply to click on edit site and then it will open up the Wix Studio website. Once the website is loaded, it will take a little bit of time from you to load the website. Since Wix will eat a lot of RAM or consume a lot of RAM from your PC, also it is very effective to uh, set a design like this. And so, fully customizable website like this one, you will not see it anywhere. So, for right there, we are going to set up the space that we want to add the logo slider or the logo carousel. So, we are going simply to add a section. So to add a section, you have here two choices. Either you are going to set up here between two sections or the intersection between two sections, you can go ahead and add a section, or you can go ahead and set up here the uh, page section. So we are going simply to see that. I'm going to uh, add my section. So all we need to do is to click on the section and click on add section. Right now it will be a empty section. So we are going simply to add some elements to that section because here we are going to set up the total of a stack. So we are going to choose the images. We're going to place them right there. So I'm going to duplicate this image. So we are going to duplicate it by clicking on Control D. You have here the second image. I'm going to move that image. So here we have it. This is the uh, second image. Then we are going to set up also control D like that. And finally, the last one is going to be here. So put them aligned as much as you want. So for now, we are going to uh, set up the gaps. So we are going to group these two, put them like this. Also this one, I'm going to put it like that. So we are going to get uh, the, the same images. Now we are going to select all the images and stack them together by clicking on the first image. Uh, before that, I'm going to change the images so it will not uh, showcase here the same images. Let's go ahead and set up this one. And for this one, we are going to change it to this one. And finally, the last one is going to be like this or like that. I'm going to click on update. Now, all we need to do for the desert one, I don't like it that much. So we are going to change it also to something like this. Now, all we need to do is to click on the first image, second image, and hold on the shift, the third image fourth image and the all are uh, merged together. So right there, I'm going to 
stack them, click on stack. Now, as you can see, everything is stacked. So when you move one, you are going to move every uh, image from here. So now we are going to get the inspector, which is this button. And then we are going to not modify them, but go ahead and click on animation and fix. So we are going to click on loop, then we are going to add a loop mode, which is going to be cross. And as you can see, we have the slider going on. Now we can go ahead and adjust the animation by clicking on the button and set up the duration to, for example, seven seconds. Now we have the direction from right, from left, from right, from top or whatever. I'm going to let it here from right. And now we are going simply to uh, set up all of this. I'm going to uh, uh, restack them. And then we are going to duplicate them as a group. So I'm going to set them as a group like that. And then we are going to get normally the infinite effect of the, uh, the animation. So we are going to set those also. Are going to set those and we are going to stack them also uh, here we are going to open up the inspector go ahead and add a, a loop also is that the loop yes uh, we are going to add them as a loop now we are going to adjust the animation to eight seconds boom here also we are going to set up uh, the uh, cross and set it up as it is for example set eight like this one so we are going to click on preview and here we have the effect of the uh the images that are sliding you can go ahead and set up the uh for example here you are going to set up the repeat delay and etc it will be no delay for example you are going to preview it like this zero with preview so make sure that you are going to put it zero so you are going to still see it if you want to uh, set up this gap you're going simply to add another one so you are going to set or select the stack for example here you are going to select those this and that and then you are going to stack them together also duplicate them and etc so this is how we are going to set the, uh, as you can see here, the loop. So we are going to preview it as like this. So this is uh, the first method. The second method is to get a help of a platform or a website called ElfSite. So this ElfSite platform will help you create some widgets without coding. And at the end of the process, you're go uh, going to get a embed code and that embed code you are going to implement it into any website that you own such as with studio of today's video and then we are going to uh, add it and see the carousel so right there we are going to set up the widget go ahead to the widgets then we are going to see maybe the tools and the tools you are going to see them here now we are going to see the logo tool or the logo slider, logo showcase. I think it is this one. So we are going to select it. I'm going to create one for free. I have already created a widget, so we are going to see it. Now we are going to click on edit. And then this is the slider. So you are going to add the images, for example, we're going to add this one. We're going to wait for the upload to be done. It, it will take a little bit of time from you, but it is okay. So right here, we have an example of a logo set up already. We can go ahead and modify that logo and set it, for example, large or smaller or whatever. So you can go ahead and put a link through it. Uh, so a caption, you can add as many logos as you want. You can modify the header or the call to action button. We have a layout you can put in as a carousel, a ticker or a grid. So we are going to set it as a ticker. You can set up the logo size like that and the spacing between the logos like this. 
So for the styles, you can go ahead and modify the background color, the font, the logo style, etc. So when you finish, you're going to click on publish, close it. Then you are going to install it. Click on install, get that embed code, copy it. Now we are going to head over here and add an element like the um, embed. So we are going to uh, search for the embeds, embed code. We're going to add it right there. And we are going to simply add it right there. So we are going to double tap on it, enter the code, put it right there, click on update, boom, here we have it. So we are going to wait for a few seconds until the uh, logo showcase will appear. So we are going to make this a little bit bigger. So we are going to show the totality of the logo here. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.